AI-powered 3D printing can't take over the world? Maybe another planet? Let me know what you think. Felt. The material didn't have enough time to dry. The weight of the skylight pulled in on those, those hot layers and the skylight. Oh, it just fell. I heard that thud and I was like, oh. Just that glorious few seconds, it was there. It was there on the top. The final score depends on several key structural tests. One of the tests is the smoke test. NASA is going to take a smoke charge and put it inside of the printed habitat. The smoke test is intended to prove the habitats are airtight, but without a sealed skylight in place, we're going to be a chimney. With a whopping zero points on that one, AI Space Factory is comfortably in the underdog position heading into NASA's other key evaluation, the crush test. Mars is unforgiving. Needless to say, the structure must be strong and resilient to survive the competition, yeah, but also for life on Mars, because, you know, they got those dust storms that last forever and giant space rocks hurtling at you at a million miles an hour. AI Space Factory's structure has resisted the crushing force of a 90-ton excavator. Will it be strong enough to endure life on a planet that doesn't have what we might consider good quality of life? Time will tell. For now, it's all about the judges. Will this surprising result be enough to sway them?